Well, hello there, Brittany Smith. I've been watching you. It is I, not over little Uncle Seymour, but Jack, the Pumpkin King. And yes, we are simply meant to be. Though, it looks like we can't be, but it would have been nice. Anyway, I thought I would do a tribute to you with this mask on and this menacing voice. Hopefully you don't get too scared. It's for comical purposes for the most part. So just bear with me. So, I must say, Brittany or Sally or whoever you are, the lady of many faces, I love you so, so very dearly. It gives me goosebumps on my undead skin. It is real problematic. I don't know what to do with myself. Like, I'm just, I'm just mesmerized. Like, you put a spell on me, and now I'm yours. Whether you like it or not. But hopefully you like it. But if not, I guess I'll disappear. Oh, yes, I've been messaging you for quite a while now. And to no avail, you've not given me any replies. You've not been receptive in the least bit. I think I understand. You have quite the amazing career. And seemingly your husband is a pretty awesome guy as well. So you can't just run away and be with the Pumpkin King, apparently. Even though you probably really want to. And it would make my, not my day, it would make my life. But these things are just not meant to be. The sun goes were simply meant to be. But apparently not. Anyway, the boogeyman is coming for me. And he's coming for you all. And I will not be able to stop him on my own. His arrival is very near. The clock is about to strike midnight. And as I said before, all the ghouls and gremlins about to come out in full fury. I, well, my alter ego, King David, is trying desperately to summon Jesus Christ. He's using the key of David. He's twisting and he's turning. But he's not effectively created a portal to the fourth dimension yet. Though he's getting closer. Again, there are two ways that I can save the world. Either by giving my life and being the sacrifice and by dying, kind of like awakening, or by having super passionate sex, but it doesn't seem like it'll be with, uh, well, with you because you're married and I don't feel like pulling out the Sheba like King David in the past that I would have really liked to. But the point being is, I'm a very lonely guy, as you can tell. I have no friends. My family kind of sucks, and the court system is up my ass. I have psychiatrists and therapists and all kinds of people visiting me day in and day out saying, David, can it be true what you're saying? Is the world really so bizarre? And I say, yes, yes it is. It is a weird, wacky place. We are in the Matrix. We are in the Twilight Zone. I am the last boy from Neverland who never grew up. But over time I'm growing a little bitter because no one will show me any love. And it's just really, I feel like it's really unjust because I've showed the world a lot of love and it's supposed to be reflected back. Where is my good karma? Where is, where is what I've, uh, <sighs> where are all the things that I've reaped? I've sown all these seeds, and I'm supposed to reap this great harvest, but I see nothing before me besides my actual attributes, which are quite amazing, I must say. But yes, Sally, or Brittany, or whatever Disney character you may be at the moment, you mean the world to me. I'm completely floored by you. I think this is the greatest love I may have ever experienced. Definitely the greatest, well, there's one other person who's about on par with you in my mind, 
but like you, she's completely shut me down, and she won't say a single thing. So you and her have really broken my heart, honestly. Like, I don't know how I'm still alive after all this. I shed so many tears, even some blood, and it doesn't seem to be getting me anywhere. But I know you read what I write. I know you probably do love me. You're probably just scared of me quite fundamentally. And I understand that because I can be a pretty menacing person. But not really because for the most part I'm like a complete saint. And I've revolutionized many people's lives including my own. And I just want to talk to you a little bit if possible. You don't have to run over here and confess your undying love. You don't have to leave your husband. But if we could just exchange a few words, that would really brighten my otherwise extremely gloomy days. <sighs> but yes, I suppose I will shut up now. But you are like the greatest thing imaginable. You exceed my highest expectations. I've dreamt of angels. I've seen angels. But you are something else entirely. You are like one of the only goddesses on this planet. You are the queen of Disney. And I am the king of Disney and the pumpkin king. So really, you should be with me, but you're already married, so what the hell. <laughs> like, too, too little too late, right? It wasn't in the cards. But hopefully we can at least be friends. I'm really friendly behind this menacing voice and this spooky mask. If not, I understand, but consider it, because the world may be coming, well, it definitely may be coming to an end pretty soon, and I don't know if I can stop it on my own, so with a little help from my friends, I get by, right? So please, Queen of Disney, please, Sally, please, Belle, please, whoever you are, Lend me a hand, or at least just listen to what I have to say, and maybe consider occasionally replying. That's it for now. You mean more to me than you will ever imagine. You are an extraordinary child. Well, my extraordinary child. You're not a child compared to everyone else. To everyone else, you're like the queen of the world, but I am your heavenly, or your, well right now I'm like your unheavenly father because I have this scary mask on, but I'm a good guy, I swear, and I have good intentions, and I just want a little bit of acknowledgement, a little bit of recognition, and if not, I may have to destroy the world, but hopefully not, because I'm in the world, so it's for my best interest that the world remains in good condition, hopefully better condition. Goodbye. I adore you, as I said in your in that birthday video I made about you. And hopefully we meet someday. Even if it's in a platonic, please don't touch me kind of way. Goodbye. And we will meet, hopefully. But if not, I'll just cry myself to sleep for the rest of eternity. Sayonara.